for that. I'm going to tell you, I don't care how many crying black moms of dead black babies Hillary Clinton can drag up on stage with her. That woman will be hard pressed to get my vote if she gets the nomination as of the way things are right now. And so we have a really serious issue right now. So either we sit here and talk about alternative strategies. Well, what if she wins? Or we focus on winning the damn nomination for Bernie Sanders and for the rest of us. And oh, that's my focus on I forward. I want to pass this over to Nis. Nis, let me just prime this. That was something else that I noticed, and I think you actually said it in the chat room, um, was that Bernie Sanders is now speaking from a standard bearer position, and he started saying things tonight that you never heard him say before, or at least I haven't, in terms of bringing the party together um, because we're going to, you know, we need the unified party to beat the Republicans. Um, the interesting thing is the conversation prior to this has always been, Will Bernie Sanders supporters support Hillary Clinton? And with the momentum and the type of butt whipping he gave Hillary Clinton tonight, the real question people should be asking themselves is, will Hillary Clinton supporters turn around and support Bernie Sanders? This is in your hands. Well, I believe that most of the voters will uh, because they are for all of the stuff that Bernie is talking about. Now, uh, all the arguments and vitriol on social media notwithstanding uh, and on TV, I think the voters will. What's interesting to me is in 08, Hillary, because the race was so close, she went to the superdelegates and she said, hand me the election. Yep. And they said, no, we can't. If we stunt this momentum, then people will not show up in the general. They will get disillusioned, disheartened, and we can live with Obama. So, no. The question is, is the same thing going to happen this time? Is she going to keep, is Bernie going to come over the top into a position where she can't conceivably win and she has to stand down or simply flat out say, I'm still in the race because I want to go to the convention and ask my buddies in Congress to hand me the election? Um, or... Uh, is it going to be close? And then the superdelegates can conceivably steal it. And will they do it? Are they so scared of their jobs mm -hmm. in Washington and in the local state houses? Are they so scared for these jobs that they are willing to risk losing the presidency? That is the question. Mm. Let me read. Let me read a segment of this damn. I was going to jump in on what Niz was talking about before um, to mm -hmm. take the point back to. Um, where we were discussing the superdelegates and whether it was yes, this yes. All the convention. My thought has always been, I've said this on, online, I, and I, I think I've said it on the show, what message does it send if Bernie wins enough primaries to take the nomination, even if they have to go to the convention to, de to decide it, and Hillary wins on superdelegates? What message is the party giving to, it, to voters? <laughs> to, to me, that destroys any reason to to support the Democratic Party. I mean, definitely. Like we 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 see that all the time. I mean, I mean, know oh, for months months ago. Now people are kind of getting a little quiet because there are people are coming out of the shadows and start to support him. And hopefully, you know, after the next few, you know, this, this next showing will come up and say. But there's actually a petition circulating down here um, for John Lewis to at least. Pull his support. Not necess There's one petition requesting that he support Bernie Sanders instead of Sen uh, Secretary Clinton. But there's another one just saying, like, at least just wait and just see how this all plays out. You know, just hold off and wait to see how the people decide. And and I think those types of petitions, that type of outreach to elected officials, because these super delegates, most of them are elected officials. They are ultimately beholden to us for the next time they decide to run. And I think going back to one of the early comments too, like we do have to be active and engaged. So I agree. If it comes down to the super delegates, you know, with the magical ticket casting the vote that trumps all other votes, I mean, I think that's problematic. And I think part of that strategy, and I know different people have started working on that, is reaching out and at least like, hey, you know, just wait to see how everything turns out before you decide to do this. You're supposed to be serving the people and doing what's best for the people, so, you know, actually be a public servant. Serve the public instead of the public serving you. Um, hey, do you guys